gotta hydrate on some OJ cause I'm getting over something. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a As I was saying, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fake a winter self-portrait or as my click would refer to it, an advanced selfie. For this video, I had every intention of it being an actual winter self-portrait. However, the weather had other plans. So basically, this is the story. For three days, we got a warning that we were gonna have this big winter storm. So I planned to wake up super early on the morning off that storm. The storm did not hit till later in the day while I was at work. So I figured after I got out of work, which was like 11 p.m. I just get up super early the next day and take pictures then. It may not be snowing, but there will be snow. However, when I woke up in the morning, I checked my phone, I saw the sunrise, and I was like, oh fuck. And of course, today had to be the only day my city was on top of plowing the streets that turned the beautiful white snow into brown and gray dog shit. <sighs> Which brings us here in the studio, ready to fake the shit out of this self-portrait because I had a plan and I'm not letting anything, anything get in the way. Ah. So first things first, I'm gonna have to flip this setup around because I'm obviously trying to fake this portrait being outdoors, which means I cannot have the brick background. So I have a white wall. Let me just, let me just show you. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see me, are you? Hold up, hold. All right, can, you can see me now. So I'm gonna try two different setups. One setup is gonna be just with my softbox right here. And the second one is gonna be with an external flash. Hopefully, the external flash turns out better because I'm not good at using an external flash. I'm actually quite shit at it. So, either continuous or flash. That's the two I'm going to try today. I might do a video on external flashes if I learn how to use them properly, obviously. So, uh, I'm just going to try to get set up for the first one, which will be without the flash. So... Yeah. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna be using my phone as my remote trigger so I can see myself using my 85 millimeter. I'm shooting at 1.8 right now. It's on my ADD, which is a crop sensor. So this is like 125 mil. Uh, my hair looks so bad. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to use this as kind of like a scarf. I'm also, the one thing I really want to keep in mind is when I look forward, do I have a catch light? Which I should, right about here, I'm going to kind of like underexpose just a tiny little bit. All right, so moving on. Now that I'm done with taking the headshots of the portraits, using just the continuous light with the softbox, now I'm going to use something I rarely ever use and I try not to use it is an external flash. And the reason why I try not to use an external flash is because I suck at using it. I absolutely suck at using it. And I, I say this for everybody, any photographer that says, ooh, I'm a natural light photographer. They only say that because they're scared of an external flash. I am one of them. I'm not hiding from that fact. I'm definitely terrified of screwing up a job or screwing up a shoot using one of these. And then later, I'm just, I just look, either look like an idiot during the shoot or two in post. There's a lot to fix. So might as well try, try it out now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off, pull this down. Push it slightly away. Head up. Put the flash up a little bit. And hopefully, this will give me the results I want. Now I just have to turn this on. Please work. Nope. 
I know this shouldn't be an excuse, but the setup also could be because I'm using the cheapest equipment on the market. This one, this external flash is from newer. The receivers and the transmitters also from newer. They're like $23. And now the receiver and the transmitter are not communicating. And yes, I just changed the batteries in them. Perfect. happy with that let's just jump on the computer and edit these to see which one turned out better i have a feeling the continuous light's going to be better but who knows also yay for trying something new <laughs> ah let's jump on the computer so i just finished editing the pictures and i'm sorry i know i said let's jump onto the computer and edit this and i was going to show you how i edited it edited it However, the screen recording software that I downloaded isn't working, so we're just gonna have to do it the old, the old way. I don't wanna say the old school way because that makes no sense. So the old way, where I look at it and then talk about it. And I'll show you the pictures right here. Okay, so this is the second picture I took, the one with the external flash that was like shooting into my softbox and reflecting onto me. I like the pose. I hate the lighting. Like I said, I am not good at external flashes or strobes at all. This is something, this is an area in photography I really, really, really have to improve at. So I just decided I'm not even gonna bother editing this. I'm not gonna bother trying with it for the sake of this video. However, I did go with the first picture that I took with the continuous lighting, which is this one. I really do like the pose and I really like how soft the light is. Now, I should have thought of this. When it is snowing really heavily, when it's a storm, there are clouds in the sky causing the snow. Thus, there isn't harsh light coming through the snow. So obviously the soft light made more sense. And I basically took the picture, I edited it in Lightroom, which this is what it looks like once edited in Lightroom. And then I threw it in a Photoshop, used a couple of layers, Gaussian blur, motion blur, used a different background and boom. Let's get a boom boom because I am pretty proud of this picture for myself. I never Photoshop, I never Photoshop this intensely like the background is not real there are a couple of layers of snow i even downloaded like a snow brush to paint over use the gaussian blur motion blur use a couple in front uh none of these were pngs these were all painted in so i will give myself a pat on the back and belly for some reason <laughs> Now, as much as I love this picture, it doesn't go without critique. There is one thing that bothers me when I look at it. And if I saw someone else post this picture, I'd be like, um, I completely forgot to blur out the edges of where I cut myself out from the original picture. It To me, it's too sharp. I could have even gone over it with snow, put snow on top of my head, I, something. But uh, yeah, that is... The critique I have for my my beautiful fake and snow selfie slash portrait or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so this is the the end of the video. <sighs> but in all seriousness, peeps, this is my time. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button and uh, turn on your post notification button. Uh, you don't have to. I always say this, you don't have to. But if you want to, I'd highly appreciate it. Especially hit that like button because, you know, the algorithm, it's, it's working against us. I will never sing again. That's a promise. As long as you hit like and subscribe, goddammit. Okay, I'm out. <laughs>